Hey everyone, welcome back to the RC Printer YouTube channel. Today we are troubleshooting some of the initial issues we had with the MK Ultra uh, 3D printable racing buggy. So initially we had some issues with the rear belt uh, sliding off the rear differential pulley. I think that was because of the tensioner, so I went on to the interwebs and on rcgroups.com, which is where the major help forum is for the MK Ultra. Uh, user Lacos gave me this new, here, I'm going to switch this around, so you can see right here this is a new tensioner pulley and it's grooved on either side. Uh, the original one was just two bearings smushed together and if this bracket here didn't slide completely straight up and down in this groove, uh, then you could have the, the rear belt uh, slide to one side or the other. So this one keeps it in the middle and it seems to have worked uh, amazing so far. There's two little mini bearings that go inside it and they are the same bearings that you use in your front steering. So yeah, it's great that you don't have to buy any extra parts if you have some extra bearings lying around. So that was a, a pretty awesome easy fix. A few minutes later, I could hear a little bit of grinding in my differential gears. Uh, and I could hear that kind of ever since the beginning, just every once in a while, whenever I slammed on the throttle, I could hear them going a bit. And uh, I'll show you what happened. So you can see here, I've taken apart my uh, differentials and you can see the gears in there are quite ground through. And here's the other one. So um, there's a few options for fixing those. First of all, I can just reprint them again. So I have done that here and I'm gonna be putting these together in a second, throwing them back in and we'll see how well they do. Uh, again, I did lube them originally, so uh, I don't think the lube was an issue or anything, but they might not have been tight enough. And so I've also printed these diff spacers here just to make sure that they seat super, super tight in here uh, so that the gears mesh really well together. So that's one option. And then another option is these. And this was an option that the designer actually put in the build instructions. You can get these steel differentials. They are obviously pricier than 3D printing it, but um, if it happens again, I'm going to move to these. And you basically just take these gears off and you throw these on instead here. And the pulley runs, or sorry, the belt runs over this pulley. And you use these little spacers and they fit in these bearings here. So yeah, we're going to give these a shot here and then bring this back outside and see if we can get a longer run out of it. I'm very excited about this model. So far, it's one of my favorite designs. I just need to hopefully find a way to make it a little bit more reliable. Hopefully once I iron out some of these kinks, that's where we'll be. So stay tuned.
Okay, so we got it back together there. Learned a few things, definitely, and especially about those differentials. They did seem originally like they were tight in the gear gearbox here, but once I squeezed them together a lot harder and I actually used uh, one of these adjustable wrenches on the bearings, once I squeezed them together, I found that I could push them together a lot more than they were, and then I found that I needed to use uh, diff spacers. And I actually had to use two diff spacers in the rear, and I used four diff spacers in the front. So that's important when you build your model, make sure you get those uh, differentials squished together really, really good and make sure that you use disc spacers in there to keep them together in the gearbox. Otherwise they will start to separate and that's gonna cause those gears to uh, burn up. So we're gonna give it another shot now. I'm much more confident in these 3D printed gears. So we'll try those. And then again, if they still do fail, we do have these uh, metal ones as well we can fall back on. So uh, let's button her up and give it another shot. Oh no. Okay, we're back inside now with the MK Ultra, and just want to show you what we found. First of all, I guess positive was this thing was a ton of fun. It rolled numerous times out there, didn't have any issues breaking anything. As far as a 3D printed RC car, this thing is working amazingly so far. The unfortunate part is so you can see this plastic piece attached to the end of it, and that's actually half of my uh, differential cup. So just the metal of the drive shaft rubbing against the diff cup there has actually sawn right through it. When I reprinted these front, this front differential, I did make sure to use a high quality PLA and I'm pretty confident it was a quality print. So I'm not certain that the PLA differentials are up to the task of handling the amount of abuse and power that uh, you can put this thing through. One thing the designer did mention is that if you are going to use 3D printed differential, you should make sure to lube the ends of your drive shafts. I did do that just to help out, but it doesn't seem to have done all that much. So from here, what I think I'd like to do is just try out those metal differentials that I have. Uh, we'll throw them in and uh, see what kind of difference that makes.
Okay, so we got it back together now and we're ready to go outside and uh, give things another test. As you notice there, differential gears themselves were totally fine, but unfortunately the dip cups that came out of them were completely destroyed by the metal drive shafts. I had probably had three or four minutes of drive time on it before that happened. So glad I switched over to these metal diffs and uh, we'll see how much difference that makes. All right, everyone, we're back inside here with the MK Ultra. We've had a pretty successful run with the new metal differentials in the front and the rear. And uh, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. It's a ton of fun to drive. It's probably the most fun to drive RC car, uh, 3D printed RC car that we've built yet. So uh, that's saying quite a lot. And uh, I'm really, really impressed with this model. We flipped it over and over and over again. and. There's a little bit of damage here to the wing, but the rest of it is in 100% condition. There's nothing wrong anywhere, so very impressed to see that. One of the reasons for that is obviously going to be all of the metal that's in it. So we do have metal drive shafts, we have metal differentials, we have metal shocks, uh, we have lots of metal bearings in there. So that's really helping uh, hold this thing together, but it's also a lot lighter than the other some of the other RCs that we've made. Um, and just the form factor here, it's, uh, it's just made for, for bashing around and going fast and it's just, it really is a ton of fun. As you saw, there are a couple of things that I do think are required in order to have a really good time with this. Uh, you are going to need those metal differentials, I think. Otherwise, you're just going to end up blowing up those diff cuffs over and over again. Also, again, I had a bit of trouble with the rear tensioners. So just adding a slightly different tensioner worked wonders for me and it might for you as well if you're having the same issues. And beyond that, there's still a ton of things we can do with this. Uh, we can add some sway bars. It's got instructions online for adding a rear and a front sway bar to it if we want. We can add a slipper clutch. I didn't have any problems with these uh, 3D printed gears yet, as long as you know they're lubed and meshed closely together. Uh, they seem to be working well. And even the front and rear diff, uh, when we blew them up the second time there, um, it wasn't actually the gears that went. The gears were totally fine. It's the metal from the dry shafts ripping up the cup on the differential that's going to cause you problems. Also with the steering, I think it's really important just that you have a metal servo rod. Um, the plastic ones just aren't going to cut it in the way that this is oriented in here. There's a lot of pressure on that and you're definitely going to want to go for a metal servo arm. So again, very impressed with this model. So impressed that I'm pretty sure this is one we're going to end up recommending building. So make sure you uh, stay tuned and check out rcprinter.com as we'll uh, have kits for this one in the coming weeks and months. Again, if you're looking for any other RC projects, ideas, kits, parts, anything like that, check us out, rcprinter.com.